This is a Windows Phone 7 game review of Chickens Can't Fly, which is an Xbox Live game title and available in the marketplace for $2.99. So I would actually highly recommend this game. It's pretty exciting. And at first it starts off, it's a little weird and the controls are a little difficult to get used to. But once you get into the game, you realize there's so much to it and it's a really great game and really challenging. As you progress, the levels will keep on getting tougher and tougher, and there's new challenges each time. There's new things to avoid, and some levels are timed levels. Some levels you have to collect a certain amount of things, like in here. You have to eat at least 10 sausages to pass the level. So there's a bunch of different variations in the game, and it's very exciting. Like if we look at this one, it'll be a lot tougher, and you can get different star levels depending on how many... Um, little chicken seeds you eat, whatever those are, feed. <laughs> and there's a bunch of power-ups, like indestructibles there. And you control the game simply by tilting your phone. And there's also negative power-ups that make it tougher for you, like that lantern makes it tougher to see. And you can tap and hold on the screen to fly in place, kind of an air brake thing. And there's a corn magnet, you can enable that and suck in all the corn there. So, there's a lot of different variation in the vet visuals of the game, different themes there, everything. And the coolest part that I found out later is the multiplayer. Even though this is pretty fun and pretty challenging, and you keep on going, you have a certain amount of lives there. Each time you get to checkpoints, you get more lives. So it's really engaging, and it can be extremely difficult here. And you really have to learn the game and learn how to control it and how to play it. And on some levels, what's really cool is there's even variation where it's just completely randomly generated every single time. So you can't actually anticipate what's coming. You have to just act on the fly. So it becomes really exciting. And so let's look at the multiplayer. This is the most fun part about the game. Multiplayer down there. So they have a challenge of the week, and you can compete in it. And I actually got all the way up to 18th out of 500 recently when I was playing. But then I just quit and I didn't want to actually finish it there. So it's really fun and you just keep on going as long as possible, last as long as possible, and you try to rack up the multiplier. So you get more multiplier if you get these negative power-ups, like the sausages, which make you bigger. So it makes it tougher for you, but you also get a bigger score. And then you can also get those invincibles there and if you combine those with the sausages and everything else you can get really high scores really quickly. So this mode is really fun if you just want to try to be the best and it's actually pretty possible to be the best since it's just a weekly challenge and it'll keep on refreshing the leaderboards which is really fun. So overall I highly recommend the game. It has some great visuals, great music, Great gameplay, it can be tough to get started, and the controls are a little sensitive, but you'll just have to get used to that, and chances are you will get used to that. And you can even adjust the sensitivity if you want to. So it's got good sound effects, you got achievements of course, since it's Xbox Live, and you've got the leaderboards if you want to compete with your friends, and there's also that multiplayer. Overall, it's a really excellent game. And I highly recommend Chickens Can't Fly in the Marketplace for $2.99.